Otherwise, they are a chance. I can't believe we're going to say this again. No. To not play finals. Were they 8-2? Eight 8-2 and, two? Eight and two to start the season. It was dead set sit up for the photo sort of stuff. Because Sydney are flying. They've won five in a row. Collingwood, they are flying. They've won 11 in a row. I can't believe uh, Josh Kennedy kicked <laughs> eight in his last game and says, that's it, I've had enough. I like it. Wouldn't he want to play in this game? G'day punters, welcome to Chewing the Fat, Billy Brownless and Daisy Thomas. We're already up to round 22, Daisy. Only two home and away games to go. The whips are starting to crack, Bill, and there is a lot happening up the top of the table as well. Mm. Sides fighting for top four, yes. sides fighting for top eight, eight, and some teams just sliding off into the abyss. Yes, exactly, and St Kilda may be one of those who have been OK most of the year, have been in there. They currently sit ninth on the ladder. They take on Brisbane, who were very good for three quarters last week. Yeah, slightly flummoxed how St Kilda is still a chance to play finals, really. Their form been very, very patchy and not really good enough. No. You'd imagine if they do make it, they're going to be a side that doesn't really challenge going in. But this is a game they have to win and have to be really competitive in if they are going to try and play finals whatsoever. The Lions, however, if big they o. want to sew up oh. a top four, yes. they should get it done. Uh, big O's been very good in the ruck. Lockie Neal back to some very, very good form. Zach Barley kicking goals and get plenty of it. So they're coming together maybe nicely. McStay kicking four. Yeah, finding a bit of form there. Good to see it's at Marvel too because that means we don't have to mention it's at the MCG and Brisbane can't play that ground because Chris Fagan, well, he gets very grumpy when you say that, Bill. <laughs> Coaches get grumpy, don't they, towards they the end of the year. Uh, so uh, we think Brisbane will win that yes. one. Melbourne take on Carlton. Speaking of fours and eights and all that, well, this is a very, very interesting game because both sides, dare I say it, Need to win. Yeah, third v seventh in this one. The Blues obviously have a pretty tough draw, com draw coming home as well. And got a lot of get, get some injuries, injuries at yeah. bad times, maybe suspensions at the bad times as well. So they have to find mm. something, otherwise they are a chance. I can't believe we're going to say this Ooh, again no. to not play finals. Were they eight and two? Eight and two to start the season. It was dead set sit up for the photo sort of stuff. <laughs> and since then they have gassed it. Haven't had back to back wins since round ten, which isn't good enough. The D's, however, they're not going very well either. After no. starting the season, ten and six. What a they've ten lost ten and zip, ten and zip. Sorry, yeah. and they've lost six of their last ten. Spot on. So interesting game. You'd think Melbourne would win that one at the MCG, the local derby here Ooh. over Ooh. in Ooh. Perth. Frio Ooh. just going along beautifully. Young Sarong, very, very. I know Brayshaw's been very good, but Sarong's been very good. Jordan Clark's also been good there. Take on West Coast. I can't believe uh, Josh Kennedy kicks <laughs> eight in his last game and says, "That's it. I've had enough." I like it. Wouldn't he want to play in this game? Well, you'd imagine so. I think. The, uh, the powers to be. Well, yeah, it's a Frio home game, so they weren't sure if they could do the proper send-off over there, Bill. That is right why. Up. So, good to see him going out in style. Fremantle, though, again, the sides we speak of, sixth on the ladder currently, mm. if they can win the couple coming home, yes. they're a chance to make it top four, get the double chance, get themselves a final over there, which would be massive for them. They play that ground so well. Haven't looked at the weather, but hopefully it's not raining. Oh. Frio, by how far for me? Spot on there. Richmond take on Hawthorne. Uh, I like this game, because the Tigers going all right. They're eighth on the ladder. Only in the eight by two points, so they need to win this one. But the Hawks have been OK. They've had a up and down year, but they've been OK. Yeah, the Tigs sitting in eight still only got themselves to blame for not cementing a spot. Obviously, yes. the loss to North Melbourne, mm. the draw against Fremantle and the loss <laughs> to the Gold Coast Suns all within a three-week period. All games they should have won. So they should be comfortably looking at a finals campaign. And now they've got some tricky games coming home. You think they get the job yes. done against the Hawks. However, the Hawks like this matchup. Up. They're hard, they're tough. They won't be minding it. I think Richmond, though, too much firepower up forward with the big boys. Yes. I think they get it done. No, I'm with you, Daisy. Oh, well said there. And then the match of the round. What about this? Sydney, oh. Collingwood, SCG, oh. Sunday Arvo. I love this game because Sydney are flying. They've won five in a row. Collingwood, they are flying. They've won 11 in a row. Who wins this, Daisy? Well, I'm going to tip the pies, Bill, just oh. purely for the fact that they're winning and they don't know how to lose at the moment. Sydney are winning. Sydney are winning, but not uh, 11 in a row. Five in a row, very good. Look, they were OK against North Melbourne, Sydney. It wasn't dominant. 40-plus points there. It was just good enough, I think, in that one. I expected Buddy and Isaac Heaney to really have a day out. It wasn't to be the case. And they got exposed a little bit up the other end oh, with the big Suvalaki kicking some goals. So I think the, the Pies can go to town on that one. And I think their pressure, their energy, their effort and belief 
The core things the coming belief. together there is massive. I think two sixty-five for the pies, real value. Oh, dollar fifty, I like for Sydney at the SCG. The pies like the SCG. Don't mind the SCG, Bill. They like everywhere. Have you downloaded your points bet app? I have, Bill. Only Good. takes a minute of your time to get access to markets. So many, many more of those as well. Exactly. And if you do, gamble responsibly.